Welcome to our GEODES introduction. GEODES are a new approach to early literacy, whereby students learn to read while reading to learn. My name is Jeremy Newth, and along with my colleague Morgan Sibelic, we support schools and districts across the state with the review and implementation of high quality instructional materials. And right now, high quality instructional materials are more important than ever. We're all experiencing the, the, the pandemic learning loss. We're all seeing the research that is talking about the effect long-term that that learning loss is having. And we also know both anecdotally and from research what happens in the long-term, uh, not just the short-term, uh, to students when they do experience those, those educational interruptions. And so we're in a literacy crisis in the middle of feeling that impact. And the big question that we have to ask ourselves is what can we do about it? And simultaneously with this pandemic related learning loss, we're also getting a lot of access to research which quite beautifully speaks to the science of reading and the value of structured literacy. And it's my pleasure therefore to introduce geodes to you because geodes are decodable, but geodes are totally unique in that they're the only science of reading aligned decodables. Now, <laughs> any decodable needs to be phonetically aligned. Geodes are phonetically aligned, but what makes them different is that they are cohesively, compellingly, engagingly, knowledge building at the same time. And that's why with geodes, students learn to read well, reading to learn. And not only uh, does this give opportunities to students to, to dive into texts, but it gives them access to that knowledge that they crave. And one of the questions that teachers rightly ask is why are they called geodes? Geodes, of course, are rocks and geodes look ordinary on the outside, but when a geode is cracked open, it is pure magic. And so similarly, geodes could look like any other decodable on the outside, though they are very beautiful looking decodables, but when they're opened up and when teachers and students see that rich knowledge building experience, they see that they are magic. And as we talk about science of reading, as we talk about structured literacy, the question comes to mind, like how do you build knowledge in your literacy program? Because we're all talking about equity and the challenges related to the pandemic. And equity means that yes, we harness and make the most of the, the knowledge and rich experiences that students bring to the classroom. But equity also means that we build students experience set through learning opportunities within the classroom. And that means building knowledge. That's overcoming the inequities that otherwise can exist in the classroom. As Sue Pimentel, she's the, uh, the, the researcher uh, that uh, said, uh, let all the kids read the good stuff. And she talks about the value of phonics. And she also in this quote talks about the value, the, the critical nature of building students' knowledge of the world, because that is, allow, that is what allows students to access text, to, to read, to understand. Natalie Wexler, she's the uh, educational journalist who wrote The Knowledge Gap. And in The Knowledge Gap, she highlights the, the reality that without background knowledge, students can un cannot unlock text. And so the biggest way, the best way, she says, to boost students' reading comprehension is to expand their knowledge and their vocabulary. And here's Scarborough's Rope. This is where geodes fit in. The, the top strands of Scarborough's Rope, language comprehension, the bottom strands, word recognition, geodes form the bridge between language comprehension and, and decoding. Geodes are the opportunity for students to practice to mastery, to practice to fluency, the decoding skills that they're learning in their core phonics program. And that bridges the gap between decoding and reading comprehension. A teacher, April Evans, uh, speaking about how students have tons of knowledge that they want to continue learning about, reading about, and speaking about. And the research is telling us about the value of student discourse within the classroom. And that's where building knowledge is a foundation for not just equity, but so much future learning in the classroom. And that's what GEOs do. They build knowledge from the very start, harnessing the natural curiosity that all students have, all students begin their educational careers asking questions, wanting to learn more, devouring knowledge, and then wanting to share it. And so geodes give students that opportunity to build their knowledge so that they can share their knowledge. And throughout geodes, students 
will travel across six continents. They'll encounter the work of 11 different artists. They'll, uh, they'll learn about 35 different animals in 33 different countries. It's an opportunity to build relevant knowledge so that students can understand and un unlock texts. And that also students can develop empathy by learning about the, the, the rich perspectives and experiences of others. So the students can see themselves, but also experience the lives and, and challenges and triumphs uh, of others. So what do geos look like? Let me spend a few moments showing you a scope and sequence, K, one, and two. Geodes are K to two, and we call them levels, level K, level one, level two. You could say grade K, grade one, grade two. Uh, we choose to use the word level uh, because it's more age inclusive. And the reality is that geodes are written to be age inclusive so that there are plenty of districts that actually use their level two geodes to support their grade three or grade four or grade five striving readers. Level K, now you'll see that there are four modules across each grade, across each level, there are four modules and each of those modules is deliberately knowledge building. The five senses, once upon a farm, America then and now. And you'll see each of these modules is broken up into in K, two or four sets in level one and two, it's, it's four sets. And then underneath the set title, you'll see the phonetic scope and sequence. Here's level one, four modules, four sets within each of those modules, so that each of the sets is building that, that background knowledge, building that background puzzle. And then level two, four modules, four sets, and also continuing to build students' capacity to read to learn as they learn to read. On the back cover of a geodes text, you'll see the Wilson Foundation's alignment. Geodes are written to be perfectly aligned to Wilson Foundations. Uh, they're also a strong, they also demonstrate a strong alignment uh, to other phonics curricula. On the other side of the, the back cover, you'll see the, the wit and wisdom alignment geodes. Now you don't need to implement wit and wisdom to implement geodes. Wit and wisdom is our our core K-8 ELA curriculum. It's the top rated K-8 curriculum on Ed Reports. The alignment to wit and wisdom comes in the knowledge build. The wit and wisdom topics across each of the four modules within wit and wisdom per level are the same topics that students will be reading about with different texts, of course, within geodes, building that background knowledge and giving opportunity to build and practice those decoding skills with your phonetic alignments, while also building that background knowledge in, in the wit and wisdom topic and, and background knowledge alignment. And what this does is it makes texts that are accessible and empowering. It makes texts that are totally different because uh, as I mentioned before, science of reading says background knowledge as well as explicit structured literacy and geodes bring the two of those key concepts together. So level K, there are four modules. In level K, students are pre-reading. And so you'll see a slightly different format and, and a different type of text. In modules one and two, the, at the first book in each of the sets are actually wordless picture books. And these wordless picture books literally have no words except for at the end uh, when there's a provided additional context for the, the teacher, the, the parent, the caregiver. These are an opportunity for students to, to read the pictures to practice their narrative retelling skills and to start practicing that concept, which is that texts tell stories. In this case, picture texts tell stories. Still within K, in modules one and two, books two, three, and four are sound search books. So it's all about building students' understanding of phonics and the students are looking for specific sounds as they practice those phonic skills. So here's an example of a, a sound search book from kindergarten. Students are, are searching for the, the F and the N, the F and the N sounds. The second half of level K are duet books. And these are modules three and four. Duet books are books that are designed to be read by a student along with an adult so that the adult can assist with those budding decoding and word recognition skills. Here's an example of a, of a duet book. You'll see in the key, child reads, adult reads. And throughout the book, Ella sang back, the child and the teacher, the, the parent, the caregiver are supporting one another. 
Levels one and two, students have moved past that pre-reading stage. They're developing their, in, their independence. They're, they're following the phonetic scope and sequence. And so you'll have four modules, four sets uh, within each of those uh, modules, and then and four texts within each of those sets. This means all told in levels one and two, there are 64 unique texts, unique book titles. Take a look at level one. The, one of the, the texts is Anansi in the Pot of Beans, uh, and I've included an example uh, to show Anansi, a mischievous spider from West African folktales, uh, is, the, is the first text that students dive into in this particular uh, module. And then in level two, here we have a, another example, Finch Study. And in Finch Study, well, Finch Study actually is, is taken from a, a module entitled The Seasons of Change. And in A Season of Change, the students learn about the four seasons across a series of books, diving into specific elements of each of those seasons. And uh, in, in Finch Study, uh, we have Sal, a character from level one slug study, uh, learning about finches. Uh, we have a text about sap to syrup, uh, as we, we learn uh, about through an informational text about the process of harvesting and making maple syrup. Uh, Spring Fever, another text where a young boy uh, in, in poetic form is eager to explore spring's arrival. And so you can see building knowledge, but in a cohesive fashion so that each of these sets builds a, an understanding of this body of knowledge. Now we've talked about a few other characteristics, features in the back cover of each text. Let's take a look at the, the teaser on the back cover of each text. Each, each back cover includes a question. You know, bees do a jig, they kick, they bob. Why do they do this? Asking a question to help students to, well, to, to, to tease students into diving into the text and learning about the, the bee waggle and the dance that bees perform as they communicate. David Lieben, uh, you'll, you'll be familiar with him. Uh, he commented and said the geodes are the most beautiful decodables in the history of our galaxy and, and possibly a few others. And he's right because geodes are, are magical on the, the inside, but they're magical on the outside as well. And when you actually get a hold of a geodes text and feel it, it doesn't feel like a glossy front cover. In fact, it's, it's uh, not a glossy front cover. It's a soft, um, pleasant feel that makes the kids feel like they're actually reading a real text because that's what they're doing. They're not reading a, a, a printout from the internet. They're reading high quality literature that gives them an opportunity to see themselves and mirrors, to experience others, uh, to uh, participate in, in, a, in a sliding glass door, to, to walk through a sliding glass door and to experience the lives of others. And and not only does this build the coding fluency, not only does it build knowledge, but it, it builds empathy. And uh, that's a, a social emotional learning skill that all of our students in all of our classrooms need to develop because that's a, a lifelong skill that the classroom, the classroom can support students with. Now, as students experience that and learning skills are broadened, we include in the grayscale MyJews, and we'll talk about this in a moment, uh, a more section, and it's called more because it's literally a deep dive into more of this topic. And it appears in the grayscale MyGeodes because the, the, the grayscale MyGeodes come as a complement to the color text. So in, in each of these modules divided into each of these sets and then each of these uh, individual books, there are six color copies of, of the text, of each of the unique texts. There are also 20 grayscale copies of all of the texts in each set. So looking at this screen, you can see Anansi, the story in the cave, the magical stack, the brothers group. These are the four books in a particular module set. And so they're compiled in a grayscale My Geodes book. And this means that there are 20 My, scale, My Geodes, six color copies. So together, 26 copies of each of the texts. My Geodes can actually go home or they can stay in the classroom. They were designed originally to go home to be used as consumables so that students have access to high quality literature at home. And then at the back of those My Geodes is where you'll find the, the more section. And the more section is available in English and Spanish. Additionally, within the inside geodes, the, the geodes teacher edition, 
There are family tip sheets, which are designed to go home. They're available in English and Spanish, just like the, the more section designed to nurture those homeschool connections and help, help parents to see what books their children are reading at school so that parents and caregivers can support their children as they learn to read while reading to learn, as they practice to mastery those newfound decoding skills while building their knowledge in an equitable uh, foundational arena. I mentioned the Inside Geodes teacher support. The Inside Geodes um, teacher edition provides page by page insight into each of the geodes texts, including a, a module overview, uh, which speaks to different elements of each of the, the texts, and then giving specific insights into vocabulary, into um, new words, uh, continued words, uh, words that are recurring, uh, insight into phonetic alignment, and then support for activities that, that a teacher could use in the classroom as she teaches and uses this geode text to, to practice specific skills. Our vision is that a geode's text would be used multiple times, it would be read in multiple ways uh, over a period of, of a week or so, so that the first time students read a text, they may be practicing decoding, but then the second time and the third time, they'll be practicing specific skills that are nurtured through this text. And that's what the, the inside geode supports teachers with. Flexible, uh, designed to be helpful, and designed to be informative. Here's a, a picture of one particular classroom set. So a classroom set, you can see the four modules. There is the Inside Geodes Teacher Edition. There's an actual geode rock uh, for fun. You can display that to help students to understand the analogy. You'll see the color copies in each of the four sets. And then you'll see the, the, the grayscale My Geodes. And this means that there are, uh, doing the math, uh, there are 384 color copies of each of the geodes texts in a classroom set. And then there are 320 grayscale my geodes. So altogether uh, more than 700 texts for students in a classroom set. And uh, classroom set supports students. There are supports for teachers in the form of professional development. Uh, professional development that's live, uh, that's face-to-face, -face, that's virtual, designed to upskill and inform teachers uh, so that they're ready to maximize the science of reading, structured literacy, opportunities to give students time to practice decoding while equitably building knowledge.